Hey, my name's Tim. Hey, I'm Ariane. We are two thirds of Cubicolor. Peter's at home. Hey, Pete. He's looking after his cats, but he sends his love. I've always been a writer. I used to write loads and loads of poetry as an unhappy teenager, and then took that into Carnegie University and studied literature. So, like books and, and writers were, was always a big thing in my life. And then I think my writing just got absorbed into my lyrics, basically, and I found that I could have that outlet for that kind of passion of mine in the in the lyricism and stuff. I've always been very interested in music, DJing since I was really young, but I love building stuff, I love electronics. I've always been very fascinated by uh, all the aspects of uh, recording sound. At one point you meet people, you start making music, you meet other people, and at one point we met uh, Peter. We tried to find the right people to do it with. I'm never really a guy that wants to do something alone. I think you need people around you to achieve something cool. Peter started really early with music, since he was like eight, seven years old. Mostly classical music. He listened to pop music till he was like 18 or something, 17, 18. But he always practiced classical music, no teachers, basically learned everything himself. With Peter, it's a miss or a go, and if, he, if it's a go, then he makes the most beautiful stuff. The best things with Cubicolor all seem to be just when they're natural moments in a studio. So a lot of the time with this record, um, it was just us like in a room and it all came out really quickly. But it's just about finding a way for us all to be there in the right headspace and doing it. So it's not even the sense of like a division of parts so much like obviously I do the singing and stuff and Peter does lots of the keys, but then we all produce, we all write the beats. We all kind of mess around with every bit of the music really. We moved to the record industry in Harlem, that's where they press all the vinyl for Europe. We had like, uh, we were upstairs in an office. We were only there for two months, we didn't like it at all. And then uh, we got an offer to, uh, to rent a boat. I was like, I never thought about it, renting a boat, because I'm not like, I don't really like the water in that perspective. <laughs> like, it can sink. <laughs> and like the boys build their own speakers and stuff. The gear is kind of homemade, the cell desk in there, which kind of opened up and tricked out. So like everything we make the gear with is all... The whole album on self-made monitors in the end. Yeah, yeah it's all bespoke gear, cubicolor gear. We were just trying to find the right synth for the whole thing, I think, or the right sound and... Interesting sounds, like making interesting sounds is, is always been a challenge. Peter's background is artificial intelligence. 
his digital world with my analog world, why certain sounds can sound like it, like noise on filters, drive on filters. Down the wall is a good example of that. We made a plug-in and the only sound that could make is that down the wall sound. And mainly all me, but then moments where I'm struggling or just when I haven't got it right. Aaron in particular is very good at calling me on it. <laughs> it happens a lot with me where I do a first take uh, just to sketch out a line or something. A, a lot of the time those are the things that the guys end up being like, this is the, this is the take. It's so also about the emotion or like the rhythmic flow or the, whatever it was, and especially with Points Beyond. I played it and like the reaction was so good and was like, holy shit. It doesn't really matter where the inspiration comes from. We hook really well together like that. We all give each other inspiration, we learn from each other. I learned so much over the last years from Tim. Mm, totally. When we're all in a good space together, that's when like, good, good things can happen. Mm -hmm.